Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT for some wedding purposes. So this is going to be slightly different from my normal videos, but I've tested this myself and I think you get some really good results. So should you be going to a wedding? Should you be a part of a wedding or should that come up in the future? Here are some great ways to use it, starting with a wedding speech. Might move into wedding vows after. Let's see what we get here first. But here's the prompt that I put. Write me an 800 word best man wedding speech. Make sure that you throw some comedy in it. People need to laugh. Okay, so pretty simple. We want a wedding speech. We could break it down into an outline or maybe kind of like we're doing an article, but I'm just going to go with it. Let's see what they give us and we can go from there. All right. And so we got a good amount of uh, content here. We got, yeah, it's pretty good. I'd say it's probably around 800 words. So I love the intro of this. I just find it so funny. Clearly, you're not going to be saying this. I mean, I guess you could add some humor to it and be like, yep, my name is Chad GBT, but I'm actually going to read this just because there is some humor. So good evening, everyone. My name is Chad GPT, and I have the honor of being the best man here today. Imagine introducing yourself. My name is Chad GPT. They're like, I wonder who came up with this. Anyway. First of all, let me take this opportunity to offer my warmest congratulations to the newlyweds I've known for many years now and can honestly say that I've never seen him happier than he is today. And bride, you look stunning. I'm sure you'll agree that groom has done well for himself. I remember when the groom first told me that he was getting married, I thought to myself, wow, he's finally growing up. But then he told me that he was going to ask me to be his best man. And I thought, well, maybe he's not growing up after all. See, that's some pretty good comedy. It's lighthearted. that get a chuckle out of people. It's all in the deliver, of course, right? If you're like, well, maybe he's not growing up. You know, if you sound like Lurch from the Adams family, it's not going to come off that well, right? But seriously, groom, you're one of the best people I know, and I'm honored to stand here today as your best man. I remember when we were young and carefree, getting up to all sorts of mischief. It's amazing to see how far we've come. Groom, you're like a brother to me. You've always been there for me through thick and thin. I'm so happy that you found someone who loves and appreciates you as much as Bride does. You deserve nothing but happiness, and I'm confident that you'll have a long and happy marriage together. I'd probably throw a little bit more comedy in there in that section. Now, Bride, I have to say that I was a little nervous about meeting you for the first time. Okay. I mean, Groom has told me so many stories about you. I was worried that I'd be disappointed. But I have to say, you've exceeded all my expectations. You're smart, beautiful, and funny, and I can see why Groom is head over heels in love with you. Groom, I have to say that you're a lucky man. Bride is a catch, and I'm not just saying that because she's a good cook, although I have heard some great things about her lasagna. No, Groom, you're lucky because you found someone who will stand by you through thick and thin, who will support you and encourage you, and who will love you unconditionally. Of course, marriage is not always easy. There will be ups and downs. But I know that the two of you will be able to handle anything that throws that life throws your way. And when things get tough, just remember why you're here today. Remember the love that you feel for each other and let that be your guide. Now, I have to say that Groom has some pretty interesting stories to tell. Some of them I can share with you. Others are best left unsaid. But I will say this. Groom, you're a wild man, and I'm glad you found someone to calm down, calm you down. Bride, I hope you have a strong stomach. But in all seriousness, bride and groom, I want to know that I'm here for you. Whatever you need, whenever you need it, I'm here for you. And I'm sure I speak for everyone here when I say that we're all here to support you and celebrate your love. So let's raise a glass to happy couple. Groom and bride, may your love for each other continue to grow and flourish for many years to come to a long and happy marriage. Cheers. Okay, so for doing a wedding speech, that was really, really good. And that's why like every now and then I like changing things up. You know, most of this is marketing, but hey, maybe some of you marketers and online business owners might have to do a uh, wedding speech one day, right? So this is a good example of how the uh, it can crank out different types of content. And just for one more, let's do the wedding vows very quickly. I'm going to put something in. Let's see what it gets. All right, but help. I'm a husband and I haven't written my wedding vows yet. Please write them for me. Okay, thanks. Happy face. Okay, so it can help you with your wedding vows as well, or can it? Let's find out. This will be the last section of the ChatGPT wedding usage, and let's go. All right, so we got sure. Here's an example of wedding vows for a husband. So, bride, from the moment I met you, I knew that you were the one for me. Your smile, your laughter, and your kisses captured my heart. And I knew that I never wanted to let you go. Today, I stand before you in front of our friends and family, and I vow to love and cherish you for the rest of my life. I promise to support you in all your dreams and ambitions to be your partner in life and to stand by your side through thick and thin. I promise to always listen to you, to be there for you, to make you smile, even on the toughest days. I will be your rock, your comfort, and your refuge, and I will love you with all my heart. 
I promise to be honest and open with you, to respect and cherish you, and to always put our love first. I will work with you to build a strong and loving marriage, and I will be there for you every step of the way. I give you my heart, my soul, and my love, and I vow to spend the rest of my life making you happy. I love you now and forever. Well, that was sweet. Um, You know, I don't know how amazing that was. This is usually going to sound something like, you can usually tell if (laughs) someone else created wedding vows, you know, usually based upon what the person is going to say and so on and so forth. So I'm not saying it's the best, it's the worst, but it is an example of something else that ChatGPT can do when it's wedding related. And I think that's going to wrap up this video. So overall, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some entertainment out of this when it comes to using ChatGPT for wedding purposes, like speeches, vows, you could probably do thank yous and you know, just about anything else that you can think of. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.